Time now is 9.15. While there are many wonderful things about connecting with others through social media, the internet can also be an unpleasant place. But if you're smart about it and apply a few tips, you can stay safe on social media. Paige Hoffmeister, the social media coordinator at People's Health, joins us via FaceTime with some advice. Good morning, Paige. Hey, good morning. Great to be here. So why is social media so important during this time? Well, it's really important during this time because as we're not really interacting face to face as we would in, in a typical occurrence, you can still stay in touch with all of your friends and family and see all their pictures and videos. I know me personally, I attended my friend's baby's first birthday through Facebook Live. And also I have a lot of friends and family that live 10 hours away. So yeah. I'm able to still see their pictures and their videos and feel like I'm right there with them. Yeah, I can't tell you the, the number of times that we've had little Zoom conferences and just, you know, kind of hangouts and and how odd it felt at first but um how great it felt afterward you know so there's really something to it but at the same time you you should make sure that you're you're safe you know you might trust some people online but you can't trust everybody no you definitely cannot and that's one of the things i really stress especially with facebook is when you're accepting a friend request to be very mindful of the people that you're accepting a lot of times people want to be polite accept everybody even people they don't know or friends of friends but you really want to only accept the people that you do actually know and one of the things i really stress is that with friend requests they'll never tell you hey page doesn't want to be your friend or page denied your friend request they'll only send that notification if you do accept so don't worry about trying to be polite or try not to offend anybody just really be picky with it be selective because it's your facebook it's your instagram it's your twitter it's the people you want to see on your newsfeed. Yeah, I mean, that makes a lot of sense. I mean, how, how, like, that's a, a good idea. You know, if you get a request from someone you don't know, maybe you just kind of look the other way, I guess. What kind of information should we avoid sharing online? Well, definitely you don't want to share any financial information, banking information, social security number. If you're a senior, do not share your Medicare number online. That is a definite no-no. Also, do not share your home address with people and don't let people know when you're going to be out of town and your home may be vulnerable. Um, if you're on vacation and sharing vacation pictures, my suggestion is to wait until you get home to share those pictures. Definitely. Also, with this time, we're seeing a lot of misinformation being spread online. And so it's really important that before you decide to share something online, maybe fact check it. And if you're going to share a news story, make sure it's coming from a valid news source like Fox 8. Yeah, that's a great idea. I like that. Make sure it comes from Fox 8 because we're going to give you that valid stuff. There are scams on social media. There is a question here that says, are there scams on social media? Yes, there are scams on social media. Don't get had, right? Yeah, unfortunately, that's one of the many things with the deep dark web internet. And I don't want it to deter you from joining social media or hanging out online because I've been online for about 15 years now and I haven't had any problems just by staying alert. If something looks too good to be true, it probably is. If somebody's private messaging you on Facebook that maybe you don't know that well and they're trying to make this relationship and send you links that look a little fishy or say, hey, I have this great offer for you, it's probably not something you want to get involved in. All right. I mean, those are great tips. Thank you so much, Paige. We appreciate it. Uh, just make sure you're sit staying safe out there and, you know, Talk to your friends on social media. Have a good morning.